You've seen him on screen in AMC's The Walking Dead and HBO's True Detective and Treme. Please welcome actor Jay Hugley. Thank you. I'm really glad that when the words The Walking Dead are used to introduce me, that's a TV show <laughs> and not my medical condition. Although, let's be honest, if, if there was a zombie apocalypse, this would not be the worst room to be in. <laughs> it's a pleasure to see you all tonight, especially because a year ago, I wasn't sure that I would ever be able to see properly again. Last August, over the course of a weekend, I rapidly lost the eyesight in my left eye, including the ability to see color. I thought, well, that's really weird. And by Saturday night, really weird turned into really, really not good. And so I did what any intelligent, thoughtful person would do. I Googled. <laughs> and if you Google, why would an adult male suddenly lose eyesight and color in their left eye? Well, let's just say I didn't sleep a whole lot that weekend. So on Monday morning, I hightailed it to my eye doctor who ran tests and saw nothing, and that worried both of us. I then had some very not pretty pictures taken, which showed multiple small growths on my brain, some of which were putting pressure on my optic nerve. That was incredibly scary. You have something on your brain, you don't know what it is, and you automatically assume the worst. Unfortunately, this is not TV where Woody Harrelson and Matthew McConaughey come to investigate. So I leaned in with several surgeons, met with them, most of them who wanted to do some very, very dramatic things, like just cutting into my head, and which was super cool on The Walking Dead, but not so awesome in real life. And then someone told me about Dr. Dan Kelly at the Pacific Neuroscience Institute at St. John's. Yeah. <laughs> right away, Dr. Kelly said that if he treated me, he would use minimally invasive keyhole brain surgery. No shaved head, no gashes in my skull. In fact, he told me he was going to go in through a tiny hole in my eyebrow that would be unnoticeable after a few weeks. It sounded like something out of the future especially when all the other doctors I'd previously seen were talking about removing part of my skull to perform, perform a full craniotomy, craniotomy. But when this kind of medical emergency happens, you're incredibly vulnerable, and you have to put your life in the hands of these just genius doctors. I could not think of anyone better or more trustworthy than Dr. Kelly and his team at PNI. And as we're hearing tonight, St. John's is a special place with doctors across multiple specialties in whom patients can put their trust. I think part of that comes from their willingness to treat the whole patient. Dr. Kelly and his team took into account the fact that I make my living on camera and that if I'm going to have scars running down the side of my face, I would prefer that they would be applied by the makeup department. <laughs> the team truly took care of me not only as a patient, but also my quality of life and my well-being post-surgery. Dr. Kelly was also sensitive to the fact that I wanted to handle things as quickly as possible, and he was able to get me into surgery within the week. There was just one caveat. My operation was going to be live-streamed to 400 medical students. Not exactly the breakthrough role that I was looking for. But despite my own general nerves about the surgery and what it might reveal, it actually made me feel better to know that I would be of service to other doctors learning the technique pioneered by Dr. Kelly. After the surgery, my first words I remember hearing when I woke up was, this is not cancer. As you can imagine, I was incredibly relieved, and it turns out that I had neurosarcoidosis, which is a rare inflammatory disorder in the brain. And after Dr. Kelly removed 
most of the masses, his fellow PNI founder and colleague, Dr. Kayseri, followed up with the treatment of steroids and a new biological anti-inflammatory drug tailored specifically to me. Dr. Kayseri has become such an important person in my life. He has been with me every single step of the way. September 26 marked the one year anniversary of my surgery. I am recovered. And I am incredibly honored and humbled to be here to express my gratitude to Dr. Kelly, Dr. Kayseri, and PNI. Doctors who are truly dedicated to accelerating finding a cure, not only for brain cancer, but for disorders similar to mine, including those related to neurological disorders and neurodegenerative diseases.